Dear friends, hello. Welcome to my daily show. And uh, today I'm not going to do raffle. Today I'm not going to talk about paintings and stuff like this. Today I'm going to speak about my father. My father, Leonid Afromov, passed away yesterday. It's uh, happened like a shock. We, need it, we never expected. He never expected. It's, it just happened. Uh, his heart stopped beating. And uh, what happened basically during the regular routine checkup, his heart, he received a cardiac arrest. Thank you for doctors. They were trying to save him over an hour. The time that took to ambulance to arrive to our house. I don't understand how it's possible in the time, but after ambulance arrived, they brought him to the hospital. And actually, this is what happened. He was best father, best grandfather, best husband and very, very good artist. He spent all his life dedicated to art. He created paintings all his life since age three to the very last moment till his heart was stopped beating. He was young, 64 years old. I not prepare the broadcast. I, I don't know, we, we just buried him. It's, he lay in a cemetery in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, his last home. Yeah. What can I say? I still think it's a movie. I still think he's going to now enter to the room and say, David, what are you doing? He will say, come on, what's going on? How it's possible? Like, but it's happened. He's never going to come here and maybe just in our dreams. We're really sorry for him. This is like sad, sad day. We, we, I don't know what to say. My mom, she is crying. And she spent with him 45 years, almost 45 years. She also do not believe it's happened. But this is a life. We all come to this world and we go from this world. It's going to happen to me and to you, to everybody. It's not a person that's going to be able to have an immune from the death. But he was a great artist. He finished all his works. You're not going to believe it. He finished all the last paintings, the big custom order. He finished them. And basically what's happened, he, he was waiting for a doctor for routine checkup, and he go uh, downstairs from his office, studio and he said I'm done I finish everything I finished everything so all paintings are painted all orders is fulfilled and I was laughing I said okay now we're gonna be new custom orders and then he's sitting we're talking to the doctor and suddenly he's like become blue and fade doctors thank you for them very much they helped my father a lot a lot they were this doing the cpr for like 45 minutes till me and my brother were calling ambulance as an explain and come on come fast but <coughs> they put hard working for some period of time but then in the hospital general implied that carmen he passed away this is what happened of course, you're going to have now a lot of questions. What's going to happen with the company? What's going to happen with your orders? What's going to happen with your paintings? So I'm going to give you now this background. I know it's not time for it, but I want you to understand that his art is going to be forever. The site is going to stay forever. I'm just going to explain you what's going to happen. Because, you know, we didn't prepare for it. We not expected she he's only 64. People get married here in Mexico in an older age. So what happened? 
today, me and my brother and team, Olga and German, we removed all the paintings that we don't have in stock from the site. So they're no longer listed. Uh, from June, my father, we, there were listed recreations that already done by my father because from June, he was doing only custom orders. It's always every summer he concentrating on custom orders. He not doing the recreations. So all people that purchase paintings on the side, they purchase his works and all orders will be fulfilled. If some order we're not able to fulfill, maybe it's one or two orders, we're going to contact you, so you're going to have two options. We can immediate refund, or you can choose something else from the stack. He left behind hundreds of paintings. He all his life were working for the people. And I already received some messages like, oh, now you increase the prices to make it like artists, after artists gone, it's no more paintings, but I'm not going to increase anything. As he loved to do the promotion, as he loved to do the sales, I'm going to keep it this way in his memory because he danced his art for you. He dedicated all his life to this art. So whatever paintings we have, they are listed on the site. What happened after paintings going to go? After all the recreations that he did and originals that he did with sell, we're going to list, you know, he had a little background. He had a first heart attack he had when he was my age. Since then, he was training students, his other friends, to paint in his style. We have his studio still working, and they're going to work because we have trained artists that paint in his style very good. Till now, we never listed their artwork and never offered them to buy to on sale on the site. But since 1st of September, we're going to list in special category on the side paintings of his professional artists that he trains them. And the buyer going to have options to buy real Aframov or to buy paintings that are done by his students. I even don't like the word students. It's people my age and all the lives they also dedicated to art and the style to Leonid Aframov. So he's going to... Uh, you're going to have two options, originals, uh, or original recreations that he created on sale. Now, after the gun, they gun, no more. And then it's going to be works of Aframov Studio. Also, we're going to list, we have huge edition of Gicles, posters, prints, also the stuff going to be listed on the site. So, all orders will be fulfilled, so people don't need to worry, please, don't, I bought a painting today, what's going to happen? I think you're going to receive it because all paintings, 99% of the listing till now, were listings that we have in stock, so we're going to ship it. Custom orders, he finished them all. It's magic. I had a couple orders that it wasn't place to take today, and I called the buyers and said, I'm sorry. It's no longer. And they said, why? We can negotiate the price. I said, no, my father the best person in the world, the best artist, he passed away. It's, it's a shock. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand how it's happened. And all, he all the time was in a checkup of a cardiologist. Cardiologists were checking him like routine checkup like a couple times a month because he had a heart attack before. And nothing was showing problems. It's just, and he died. And it was so close, I just talked to him. I talked about the new site and the issuing the book about my father. I'm so sorry he's not going to be able to see it. Now it's in publishing. He needed to wait a little bit. It's going to be a big book with his paintings. It's going to be hundreds of his works published. It's his first and best book. And we're talking about it. This is what happened. This is what happened, and we're very sorry. Please stay on our Facebook. We're going to post a lot of stuff of my father. He loved you. He was so happy when he saw the posts, when he saw the comments. You guys made him life beautiful. He made beautiful paintings, and you made his life beautiful. Because without his friends, he's not going to be able to create these beautiful paintings. 
I'm going to be happy to answer any questions, anything on my on my email or on my phone number. So no problem, just call me, and uh, I will explain everything because this life. But please make sure no paintings, no order will left behind. He always wanted us to take the best customer service as possible because it's his reputation and after he gone, we're not going to destroy it. I promise me and my brother Boris, we're here, we do the best. If you're going to receive email from us and you place an order, your email going to say you paint, you cannot fulfill your order, we're going to allow you option to choose even more expensive paints. But it's life. Basically, maybe Boris had two or three orders we cannot fulfill. It's a recreation that he needed to finish, but he's not able to finish. So now on our side, listed everything that we have in stock. I'm not increasing price on any artwork. You can take it. After it's sold, it's gone, disappear, no more. It's going to stay prints and it's going to be uh, work of our studio. The people that my father trained all his life to do the artworks. He trains it, but he never allows them yet to finish the paintings. We were thinking about it. it maybe you remember my post from last week where I told him that my father already finally allowed his new artist to release their artwork on our website. And we're planning to do it at September 1st. We will get the announcement. But nobody think this what happened. It's, it's something that I cannot imagine and believe no one of you can imagine. So share this post because it's important here in news and Mexican news, they put some BS stories about, you know, the publicity, they want to do something killed or lost, nothing. He <coughs> died from massive heart failure. This is the issue. Because you know the publicity is the news, they want you know something juicy, so they combine stuff together and no. He passed away from massive heart failure. Uh, his last words was like everything is normal. Because my mom asked him how you feel, if everything good? He said, Yeah, everything is normal. His last paintings were custom orders and recreations that he finished. I don't know what to say more. Now, uh, I have a lot of collectors that speak Spanish. Now my brother will try to repeat what I say in Spanish. But again, do not worry. We stay here and you please stay with us. We need your support because the site should work. <coughs> Facebook should work because he was so happy when he see comments. He can imagine he see comments in French and he translated and he said, Hey Dima, look, the lady from France from Switzerland, she loved my painting. It so was for him helpful to create the beautiful art. He's artist of colors. All his art is colors. He was splashing his soul on the palette. He tried to teach people to do it. You will see their work on September 1st, and if you like it, you buy it. It's up to you. But in description, it's going to clearly state it, what you buy for it. My father or not my father. This is terrible. It's terrible. Enemy. But this is what happened. He was super talented. He was best father ever. He always, All my life, he supported all my beginnings, uh, what I was... Uh, doing all my business project. Oh, Pop, we need to invest some money. I, we need to do the application. We need to do this. We need to do that. Sure, sure. He was the best father. He never said no. He was always, when I was young and did some, you know, young stuff, and my mom was like screaming to me. He was on my side, always. I sell his art 30 years, since age 12. I dedicated my life to his art. And it's not going to be over today. The artist is gone, but his art will stay forever. We have collections of his paintings. And he wanted each painting 
like a daughter will find the groom, will find the house for the for her. So this is my goal now to find. I have three daughters. I need to find the brides, and then I have a lot of paintings to find the good houses. Now this is what I'm gonna dedicate the rest of the, my life. This is what we're gonna do. Now my brother Boris will explain it to you in Spanish. Please do not go. I'm gonna continue my broadcast in English after he gonna say. Buenas noches todos. Aquí estamos con las lamentables noticias. Ayer en la mañana mi padre Leonid Afremov falleció de un paro cardíaco. Es fue llevado al Hospital General de Playa del Carmen donde los doctores trataron de resucitar, pero no pudieron no lograron hacer. Él ya fue enterrado en la Panteón Municipal de Ciudad Playa del Carmen. Uh, cuando su tumba está lista, lo vamos a anunciar su ubicación uh, y su foto para que puedan venir a visitar. A mí me duele mucho mi corazón estar aquí diciendo a ustedes esta mala noticia. Uh, mi papá fue un gran hombre, gran pintor, gran padre, gran maestro, gran humano. Es, uh, él logró a terminar todos sus pedidos pendientes de los pedidos especiales, de los custom orders. Todos los custom orders él logró terminar hasta el último. En las últimas semanas él estaba trabajando nada más en los custom orders y las recreaciones. Todos los pedidos van a estar completos. Absolutamente todos los pedidos van a estar completos. Él terminó todo, menos dos o tres pedidos, no más. Uh, lo que tenemos ahorita publicado en afremov.com son todas las pinturas que tenemos en el inventario disponibles, originales y recreaciones. Y lo que no tenemos disponible ya fue bajado de la página. Eh, es, muy pronto nosotros vamos igual a empezar a publicar pinturas de su estudio. Él estaba muchos años trabajando con muchos pintores profesionales que él estaba enseñando. Y tenemos esta colección, de, uh, este grupo de pintores sigue trabajando en su estudio, sigue manteniendo su legado, su nombre. Y nosotros vamos a uh, igual este, publicar pinturas que ellos pintan y en igual manera re, eh, copias que ellos van a estar haciendo. A partir del primero de septiembre van a empezar estos tipos de publicaciones. Sí, muchas gracias. And now I'm going to continue. Uh, pretty soon we're planning to open, it's going to be like, let's say, museum or museum of my father. It's going to be in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. So <clears throat> if by any chance you're going to visit here, just contact us and his house is open. We're not going to touch anything. It's going to stay how it was in his life. His room, his studio, his easel, his paint, palette, everything is the same places when it was during his time. So till now we can, I have a feeling he, he come and he gonna start paint. I, I feel it till now. It's, you know, it, to me it's look like some crazy, stupid movie. What is like, it's not possible. It's not possible. I think he's going to come back. I don't understand. And I really want to thank you for the doctors. Dr. Lugo, Dr. Raul Rena, Dr. Flores, they did maximum to save his life, more than it was possible to do. Cardiologists, nephrologists, and pre-neumatologists, they did maximum. They did maximum. And my family, thank you. They failed at the end, but each doctor will fail at the end because that's it's coming for. You cannot win it. You can buy some time. And so they did. They gave my father time to create this beautiful, beautiful paintings. He knew, like my mom saying, uh, 
like my mom saying he knew he gonna go early so he was working 24 hours a day he was creating he created in his life more than 10,000 paintings more than 10,000 paintings he, he created originals and a lot of recreations a lot he teach a lot of people to paint now he's I don't call them students his studio is crying with me too because when they came today they said well, where's your father why we need to start on new pieces and I told them it's it it was like like a bullet not something you know when he was sick long time like and every it was expected it was a regular shiny day it was a regular day and my father just done the paintings that you see on the side this is an all paintings done by him signed by him have a certification by him everything by him now this we do guarantee i check in each listing now each post we check in to make sure that this painting is going to be correct and authentic soon we're going to issue special certification to all people that own his artwork is going to be special certificate because it's a lot of fakes. I I don't want today to talk about this bastard that using my father's name to sell on Amazon, to sell on different eBay, like Wish. They use his name and then destroy his reputation. Now my lawyers, they actually already like a couple weeks fighting with them. Each painting, gonna, each certificate and painting going to have a secret code. So when you put a special application, it's gonna say name of your painting and name of the owner. It's some kind of virtual reality, uh, augmented reality that we were working with my father. The crying. His paintings are on Afromob.com, Etsy, prints on iCanvas. Also a couple smaller companies that also sell prints. So I, I don't know what to say. I don't, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I think he's gonna enter now to the room. You need to see my house. It's full of his artworks, full of his paintings. Yeah. I don't know, but he always wanted that his painting not hang here. He paints them for you. He paints them for people. So I receive like advices. Oh, now you can add one zero to the paintings and all going to be fine. So just prints. I'm the touching prices. Whatever it is, it is. I just removed paintings that we don't have because we don't have it. I cannot sell you something that we don't have because now it's no artist that can sign Leonid Afro. Paintings that created by the studio are gonna be signed differently. They're gonna sign Leonid Afro of studio and a special mark. Because it's not my father. I don't believe it, you know. Till now, I don't believe it. I think it's some kind of stupid joke. Because when he fell and they did the CPR, they, at the end, the ambulance arrived. They took him to the good hospital, by the way. Thank you to American Hospital in Playa del Carmen. They help us a lot, really help us a lot. So good people. You know, the private hospital tons, cost tons of money. But they did the best to help us and uh, to try to save my father's life. And we had a hope, the doctor said, yeah, it's okay, we have some chances, it's put some medication, don't worry, and then so I went home because I cannot be, I need to be with my mom. She had a heart attack like a couple months ago and uh, my assistant that stay in the hospital, she called me like, your father passed me. Huge, huge thank you to the Jewish community here in the small city of Playa del Carmen. They help to bury my father based on the tradition. It's unbelievable. You know, it's. I said that he had a nice funeral, but I hear now the laugh of my father. He's saying, like, I prefer to be guest of her, not the main participant. This is what happened. This is what happened. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. The site is going to be working. The site is going to be available. 
no matter what, I'm going to find the good houses for the paintings that he created. And no matter if you are a millionaire or a regular person, my father never was interested in money. He was interested in life and art. He, my mom now, she telling me the stuff that she didn't, he didn't tell me when he was alive. She said he was so happy that he grew up two sons, that we taking care of everything, that he don't need to worry. He can concentrate on his art. And I sell his art 30 years. Sorry. Since age 12, I sell his paintings on the street. Since age 15, I sell his paintings door to door. I used, I used to be in the army. I didn't sell his painting. After that, we came with him to New York. I was selling his paintings to the galleries. I was selling his paintings door to door in the States. I found the internet, eBay. It was over 20 years ago. I'm all my life with him. Like some sons, some families are not that close as we are. It's my best friend. It's my. Each order, each email now I'm receiving, I hear his voice. Answer correctly. Make sure you do it correctly. Don't answer some BS. Make sure you do it correctly. Dima, it's important. It's my reputation. Don't ruin it. So I'm not going to, I promise, I'm not going to ruin it. I'm going to do the best to make sure that my father, Leonid Afrimov, reputation stay good that he gonna stay forever with you that people are gonna enjoy his life after the original the recreation goal I just gonna keep couple for myself I have paintings that he loved and he never wanted to sell you even don't know them they're not listed I'm not gonna listen because he did it then for me he did painting when I get married he gave a wedding gift painting when he each each holiday, each birthday, he gave my mom painting, and she was like, "Oh, some husband give her diamonds," and he gave her paintings. He paint her all the time, and she had like forty five paintings of him that he painted for her. And now she's sitting and crying because he she remember in each painting him. Each painting is him. So I'm not planning to not increase anything. After painting will go, they will go. Just prints and posters. He paid all his life. All his life. And now on the side, we listed everything that he created. That we have in stock, that he finished, that he touched, that he did the recreation, that he signed. What to do with the recreation that he did without his signature, I still don't know. Probably we're just going to keep it here in his museum what that I'm planning to do. I have no idea. But this is what happened. Tell your friends, tell everybody, because I don't want bad news going to be... Because here I don't know what, what these people doing here in newspaper and local. They I already received a post like, Oh, your father was shot. Why? How it's happened? No, it's not true. Please, journalist, put the truth. He was a brilliant man and he died in his own bed. Like they pronounced that in hospital, but he never woke up after that. After he failed, it's it. And my mom told me, like, she understood he was dead. And I was talking to him. Can you imagine? I talk and now we doing some website in Israel, something for artists to support them. And we were discussing, no, you need to present paintings this way, that way. We were talking. And he, during the talk, he also was reading a book about Vikings. He liked Vikings. He liked uh, old history. And I exit for three minutes. And then my mom called me, father is done. I said, what? And all the doctors, they were there. They're like starting on him up. Calling ambulance, please come. It took some time. I don't know, but pizza sometimes arrives faster, unfortunately. I don't blame them because the doctor said it was no matter what time it's, they need to take to come because it was like very fast. It was super, super fast. 
Oh, man. I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Life so short. I remember my father brought me a car as a toy. I remember first sale. We were so happy. We were dancing on the street of Ramangan. We sold first painting. I believe I don't know. I don't remember for how much? Fifty dollar. I don't remember. Not important. But we were dancing. We sold it. We can do it. Each exhibition, he was like high fi Like let's do it. No, he's not here. I'm sorry. I try to be strong, but not always is possible. I'm really sorry. And thank you. Thank you for your support. I'm going to come back tomorrow. I'm going to do shows every day. Every day we're going to post something new about my father. I have a huge collection of his paintings that he nobody saw. I'm not gonna put them for sale, never even for millions, but I'm gonna list them on Facebook so you can enjoy it. Also, it's gonna be book about him. And he wanted me to not to make money of book to give it to the buyers. Book gonna have uh, augmented reality, so it's gonna be something cool. Uh, you read the book, you put your iPhone on top of it, and you see the iPhone scans the page, and you see the movie about the page. He was so happy about this book. Super happy. But he not saw it. So, this is a life. All paintings that we have on site is done by him. I removed everything that we, all what we don't have, removed. So now it's only what we have. Soon you, you will, we will see category G class. Soon you will see category studio works. It's going to be, I'm sorry, a lot of uh, novelty product like uh, phone cases and stuff like this, but paintings signed by my father. Only whatever he does. Detail now. I'm so sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching me today. Thank you for your kind support. I'm David Afromov at afromov.com and we're going to come back tomorrow and day after tomorrow because his whole life was dedicated to you, to his buyers, to his collectors, hate for buyers, collectors. He was reading each comment. Can you imagine? He was sitting and reading each comment for me. I almost had a heart attack to teach him to use a Facebook because you know he is like old generation. He not. I'm sorry. He, I'm not really. He not computer friendly, but he was reading Facebook. And then he wanted to do customer service to answer people because he said, "I want to know what people think." And I tell him like. Uh, why you have the full department of a lot of people does it for you? But he said, I need it. I need it. I need to know. I need. He always wanted to know. He always wanted to know what's going on. For him, it was super, super important. Because he always says, I'm working for my collectors, for nobody else just my collectors it's so important for him and now <laughs> you know i never spoke with him what to do after he gone because it's not 64 come on people live nine my grandfather had a birthday last week 10 days ago he was nine years old my father and mom is she still alive we still don't have a power to tell her this is like I don't know what to tell her. She's still alive. And she is not an old gamer. She is a bright person. She's still alive. So my mom not able to do it. So I will need to call, or maybe my father's sister, to call and tell her son is gone. It's, I don't know. We, the, my mom and my father's sister not decided yet about it. His mom is alive. It's not his time.
It's not his time, but we love him so much. For us, and it's a huge loss. Super huge loss. I don't, I don't know what to say. Me, personally, I'm like, I'm in shock. I'm in shock. Now I need to post another post on his personal Facebook and tell people now I'm the new admin of his personal Facebook page. This Facebook, it's me admin, Olga, and Boris, and German. We're all working for you. I love him. I don't know. You know how life is. This. We argue with him all the time, like this promotion, another promotion. He was very into it. So he was very into business. He's like, what are you doing? Like how people like this new painting. So I, I was trying to remove the bad comments because, you know, not all people nice. They put like some BS like, and I don't show him. I remove it. I don't. Why you don't tell me? You see, the person don't like it, so we need to do something. So why? Why he don't like it? It's, he took it so seriously. So seriously, and I was like, Papa, please. It's, it's a business. It's just a sales. Don't worry. Some people good, some people bad. Don't even think about it. Don't think about it. He's, but he said, no, no, no. I need to understand each painting. Each bike. He wanted to be this you. He loved life so much. He built I built him house like uh, two years ago. You know it's my side business. I built houses for fun here in Mexico. Uh, I built him house in front of my house, exactly as he painted. And one week ago he told my mom, like ten days ago maybe, that he spent the best two years of his life in the house that we built. He never told me this. He told me I put the outlets not in the right direction. Yes. The doors not closed properly. Yes, but he told it to my mom. I'm so sorry. It's so sad. But please remember, all paintings done by him. Recreations and originals. And when they sold, they sold. Posters, prints going to be available, Jacques and works of the studio. Thank you, thank you very much for your support. I will try to continue show maybe later today because now I, I need to be with my mom, I need to be with the family, with my brother. He was not able to sit here, he is crying. Now my mom said, I'm in charge. So I'm in charge. Any questions, please feel free to contact us. Email, call, nothing, Chechi, please. Remember, no orders will be de declined, no orders will not going to be fulfilled. If we don't have the painting, we simply going to email you that I'm sorry this painting is not available. Please choose something else. I'm sorry, because I did it with some customer today. It's like ridiculous. I called him. I said, I'm sorry, he's he not able to finish your order because he passed away and he's like start screaming like oh it's a fraud I did so he, two days ago he was okay but I don't know some people some people it's something so most of you gonna receive the purchase page you're gonna receive email like everything is fine if you receive email with apology you can we give you the full right to choose something else even if it's more expensive no what no worries about it. he was Brilliant man. He was best father, best husband. My mom, she was telling like a good stories that I never knew in my life. Like about their when they were young. But soon we're gonna post all his personal photos on Facebook. So you will see all his life since birth till death. Thank you. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you. I'm David Afro. Afrom of that kind. See you tomorrow, no matter what. Thank you.